Hi, my name is Panit Yelechko, and I'm with the Department of Health and Human Services here in the city of Long Beach. Today, I'll be talking to you about the difference between isolation and quarantine, and also about the importance of physical distancing. The first thing I'll talk about is isolation. Isolation is a tool that public health officials use to keep sick people away from well people. What that means is, if someone is diagnosed with a communicable disease, such as COVID-19, public health officials will work with them to keep them in an area or location where they're not around other people while they are contagious. This is to help stop the spread of this contagious disease in our community. Anyone who has tested positive for COVID-19 or has had a healthcare provider tell them they could have COVID-19 based on symptoms must self-isolate. Even if you have not received a positive test for COVID-19, if you are experiencing cold and flu-like symptoms, it is possible that you are infected. Conversely, even if you are not experiencing symptoms but have received a positive test for COVID-19, you could spread the virus to others. Self-isolation must last for at least 10 days after symptoms first appear and at least three days after fever is gone without the use of fever reducing medications and other symptoms have improved. If you never had symptoms, then you must self-isolate for 10 days from the date of your positive test. Quarantine is another tool public health officials use to separate people who may have been exposed to a contagious disease away from others in the event that they too become infected. Public health officials work with people who are quarantined to identify a place for them to be for a period of time. Anyone who has been in close contact with someone who has or is likely to have COVID-19 must self-quarantine. Even if you received a negative test for COVID-19 and you are not experiencing symptoms, it is possible that you are infected and can spread the virus to others since it can take two to 14 days to show symptoms. You must quarantine for 14 days from when you were last in contact with a person with COVID-19. This means that if you live with or care for a person with COVID-19, you must stay in quarantine for 14 days after the person with COVID-19 was told they were cleared to stop their self-isolation. This is likely to be at least 21 days. Quarantining does not mean that someone is infected with the disease, and it does not mean that they will become infected with the disease. It's something that we use out of an abundance of caution to slow the spread of the disease. The last thing we'll talk about is physical distancing. Physical distancing is a tool the public can use to avoid becoming ill or spreading a disease. Physical distancing involves avoiding crowds and trying to stay at least six feet away from others. When you are unable to stay at least six feet away from others, wear a face covering. Face coverings are required by members of the public anytime you enter an essential business. And whenever you are within six feet of anyone besides the people you live with for 10 minutes or more. Face coverings should not be used as a substitute for other evidence-based measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Some ways to practice physical distancing include going to stores when they might not be their most busy. Another option would be, instead of going to a restaurant to pick up food during a busy time, have food delivered to your home instead. Finally, if you have the option to work from home or telecommute, please do. That is a great way of practicing physical distancing because it avoids contact with others. We hope we were able to provide you with a clear understanding of isolation, quarantine, and physical distancing. If you'd like more information on these and other topics related to COVID-19, please visit our website at www.longbeach.gov forward slash COVID-19. Thanks for watching.